To the shepherds. Los ángeles hicieron un anuncio a los a los a los a los pastores. Oh, hallelujah! And an invitation was given to them to worship. Y una invitación les fue dada para adorar. Don't stay out in the fields. No te quedes en los campos. They rose up and they said, "Let us go and find the newborn king." Se levantaron y dijeron, "Vamos a hallar al 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 rey nuevo." Let us go and worship. Vamos a adorarlo. You don't have to stay far from him. No te, no te quedes lejos de él. You can draw nigh to him. Acércate a él. Some of you, you feel so far from God today. Hay muchos que se sienten tan lejos de Dios hoy. You feel so distant. Se sienten tan distantes. Would you draw close to Jesus? Today? Acércate a Jesús hoy. Oh my God. You are my strength and my soul. And when I'm in your presence, though I'm weak, you're always strong. Hallelujah. I just want to be where you are. Dwelling daily in your presence. I don't want to worship from afar draw me near to where you are hallelujah draw me near to where you are hallelujah Closer to you, Lord. Be near to where you are. Hallelujah. I want to be with you, Lord. God. Oh, I want to be with you, Lord. I want to worship you face to face, oh Lord. Oh, I want the barriers to be broken down. I want the walls to 
come tumbling down today. You need to kick down some walls today. You need to push back the darkness today. You need to enter in. Enter in with gladness. And worship with freedom today. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Spirit of God. Come. Come, Lord. Come and fill my heart. Come and fill my mind. Come and make me more like you, Lord. Magnify the name that is above all names. Magnificamos el nombre que está sobre todo nombre. Hallelujah. Thank God for each and every one of you here again on a Thursday devotional. Le damos gracias a Dios por cada uno de ustedes que están aquí hoy jueves. Amen, amen, amen. And so great to see you once again. Es tan bueno verlos una vez más. Amen. 
And I want to I want to just share with you from the word of the Lord. Quiero compartir contigo de la palabra de Dios. Hallelujah. I know that God is going to bless our hearts today. Sé que Dios va a bendecir nuestros corazones. I know that he's going to He's going to touch us. He's going to, he's going to minister to us. I want us, va a tocar y vidas. I, want us, I want us to go into, into the book, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3. And this is now speaking about John the Baptist. Y esto está hablando de Juan el Bautista. And this is, what, this is what it says. Y esto es lo que dice. It says... Um, from verse 3, and he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Y él fue por toda la región continua del Jordán, predicando el bautismo de arrepentimiento para perdón de pecados. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare you the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Como está escrito en el libro de las palabras del profeta Isaías que dice, voz del que clama en el desierto, preparar el camino del Señor, enderezar sus sendas. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be brought low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough ways shall be made smooth. Todo valle se rellenará y se bajará todo monte collado los caminos torcidos serán enderezados y los caminos ásperos allanados and all flesh shall see the salvation of God y verá toda carne la salvación de Dios so John the Baptist he is he is making a, an introduction a presentation of, of his ministry here entonces Juan eh, 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 el Bautista está haciendo una, una presentación aquí and of his ministry. De su ministerio. And the multitudes come, and this is what he said to the multitudes. Y viene la multitud y esto es lo que él les dice. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O oh, generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Y decía la multitud que salían a ser bautizadas por él, O oh, generación de víboras, ¿quién os enseñó a huir de la ira venidera? No, I love these old time preachers. Me gusta estos predicadores viejos. <laughs> the man started and he got a nice crowd. El, el comenzó y ya tenía una multitud de gente a su alrededor. <laughs> and he looked at his, at his crowd, his congregation, and this is what he said to them. Y mira su congregación y mira lo que les dice. He said, oh, you generation of vipers. Who was, what warned you from to flee from the wrath to come? Oh, generación de víboras, ¿quién os, quién os enseñó a huir de la ira venidera? Well, I wish we had some preachers like that today. Me gustaría tener predicadores como estos <laughs> hoy en día. Who are not afraid to speak directly to the people. Que no tiene temor de hablarle directo a la and gente. And tell them what God is saying. Y decirle lo que Dios está diciendo. No, so, so John, he speaks to the multitude, he says... You generation of vipers, who had warned you to flee from, from the judgment, the wrath to come? Entonces Juan les dice, oh generación de víboras, ¿quién nos enseñó a huir de la ira venidera? I said, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance. Y hacer pues frutos dignos de arrepentimiento. Now what a, what a concept. Here, ¿Qué concepto es Baptist. este de Juan el Bautista? See, you need to bring something to the table. Tú tienes que traer algo a la mesa. You need to come in, uh, with your heart in a place to even repent. Entonces les dice, ustedes tienen que venir en, con su corazón en un lugar so, aún para el arrepentimiento. So you realize that repentance is not a forced thing. Entonces nos damos cuenta que el arrepentimiento no es algo forzado. Repentance cannot happen if somebody's scaring you talking about hellfire. El arrepentimiento no va a suceder si alguien te está atemorizando por el fuego del infierno. You know what? Some of these people, somebody may tell them, hey, you know, um, there's a judgment to come here. Y hay gente que quizá les dijo, va a haber un juicio que viene. So, so if, you want, if you want to make it, you better repent and go to John the Baptist and let him baptize you. Y me imagino que les decían, si, quiere, si quieres lograrlo, ve a Juan el Bautista, arrepiéntete, ve a Juan el Bautista para que te bautice. And so John said to them, who warned you? 
Entonces Juan el Bautista les habla y les dice quién quién los quién les dijo. Uh, telling you about 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 a, a judgment and hellfire. Quién les dijo del juicio y del fuego. I want you to 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 bring when you come in to repent, bring bring the fruits of repentance. Entonces le dice cuando vengan a arrepentirse. Eh, vengan traigan frutos de arrepentimiento. And so the fruit of repentance now is speaking about your heart condition when you come to God. Entonces el fruto de arrepentimiento muestra la condición de tu corazón cuando vienes a Dios. It means that you come to repent. If you come to repent, it means that your life could be in chaos. Y cuando vienes a arrepentirse significa que tu vida puede estar en caos. But you have come with the right motives. Pero has venido con el motivo correcto. And this is going to make all the difference in your life. Y eso va a hacer toda la diferencia en tu vida. And so I want you to hold it right there and we're going to go to Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, chapter 6. Quiero que lo pongas six. un dedito ahí, vamos a ir a Proverbios capítulo 6. All right. Proverbs is right after Psalms. Vamos a ir a Proverbios capítulo 6. In the Old Testament. Que queda right? después de Salmos en el Antiguo Testamento. And Look at what look at what it says here. Mira lo que dice aquí. And we can take this. Let me see where we can exactly where we could get this from. We we will take it from um verse 16. Mira lo que dice del versículo 16. I need to pay attention to what, what it says. It says these six things that the Lord hate, yeah, seven. Are an abomination unto him. Seis cosas aborrece Jehová y aún siete abomina su alma. So, six things the Bible is talking about. Seis cosas habla la Biblia. It says six things and then it says seven. It dice seis y luego dice siete. What, what, which one is it? Is it six or seven things? Entonces son seis o siete cosas que aborrece Dios. It says here, I want you to, let's look at the passage where. It says six, six things the Lord's hate, and seven are an abomination to him. Entonces, seis cosas aborrece Jehová, y aún siete abomina su alma. No, it, it's, it's so wonderful. God, God is, is bringing a summary of the things that he doesn't like before Entonces, us. Dios trae un resumen de todas las cosas que no le gusta de no, nosotros. I don't know if anybody here, um, when you were getting to know your spouse, Yo no sé si alguien aquí cuando empezó a conocer a su esposo in, o a su esposa. You were in courtship. Right? Cuando estaban a, eh, en las primeras últimas temporadas de su relación del noviazgo. And, and, and the first set of conversations you had before you get into that relationship. Las primeras conversaciones antes de entrar a la relación. The, the first thing is, what are the things that you like and what are the things that you dislike? Entonces las primeras cosas es, ¿cuál es las cosas que te gusta y cuál es las cosas que no te gusta? Am I right? Estoy correcto. You try to find out what are your likes and what are your dislikes. Entonces trata de hallar lo que te gusta y lo que no. And the and the things that that person like you try to do them. Y las cosas que esa persona le gusta tú trata de hacerlo. You try to buy the food that they like. Tú trata de comprar la comida que les the gusta. The perfume they like. El perfume que les gusta. Uh, the 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 restaurant they like to go. El restaurante to. que les gusta ir. You try to get some information for your relationship. Tú trata de recibir información para tu relación. And, and and you you find out about the things that the person dislikes. Y te das cuenta de las cosas que la persona no le gusta. And 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 and, and you try your, your your utmost best with your own strength. Y tú tratas lo mejor de ti con tu propia fuerza. Not to do those things, para right? Para no hacer esas cosas. And especially when you, the, the relationship is getting serious. Y especialmente cuando la relación se está poniendo seria. And, and you know that, that um, you, you're, you're about to get married. Y si tú sabes que estás a punto de casarte. Like, like for instance, I, when I um, met my wife for the first time, cuando yo conocí a mi esposa por primera vez, a I, mi went, novia, I, a went, I went, I went, I went to a store and I saw a lovely brown jacket that I love that jacket and I bought it. I bought it when I was going to that church. Y yo entré a una tienda, vi una chaqueta de café y la compré para ir a su iglesia. And Amar, I love that jacket. Y yo amo esa chaqueta. And, and, and the first time she saw me, y la primera vez que me vio, I was ministering at her church. Yo estaba ministrando en su iglesia. And 
she looked at me and she said, I'm going to marry this, this I'm going to marry that missionary. Ella me miró y dijo, Come on, say it, say it, say it. Dijo, dijo, voy a casarme <laughs> con ese misionero. And when she, when she said that, she said, I'm going to marry him, but the first thing I'm going to get rid of is that jacket. Y dijo, me voy a casar con él, pero lo primero que le voy a quitar es esa chaqueta. <laughs> she said, the first thing I'm going to get rid of is that jacket. Lo primero que voy a quitarle es esa chaqueta. But you know, you know she, did, she didn't tell me that. Pero ella no me dijo eso. She made me think that she liked that, everything. She didn't tell me nothing negative about my clothes. Ella while no I, me we dijo were, nada we negativo de mi ropa. You know, I, I thought she liked the jacket. Yo pensé que le gustaba la chaqueta. And I had some other clothes that I had bought in Venezuela. They used to have some wings behind the back. <laughs> y yo tenía otra ropa que compré en Venezuela con unas alas que tenía por detrás. And she had marked all of them and she was, she watched all these shirts and she said, all right, I'm going to get rid of that shit, that <laughs> shit, that shit. Y ella miró todas estas camisas y dijo, voy a botar esta camisa, esta camisa, esta We camisa. wasn't even married yet and she already planned to change my whole wardrobe. No nos habíamos casado y ella ya había planificado cambiar todo mi closet. She had already um, designed my clothing, the colors that I was going to wear. Ella ya había diseñado los colores que iba a usar. <laughs> and we had a lot of stuff to learn about each other. Y teníamos muchas cosas que aprender del uno del otro. And, and, and so in any relationship, there are some, there are some things that you, 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 you want to eliminate from your Entonces, relationship. Entonces en cada relación hay cosas que tú quieres eliminar de and, la relación. And the clothing, all these things, they, these, are, these are the little things. Yeah. Y la ropa y estas cosas son las cosas pequeñas. But there are some other things that, that sometimes we don't say anything about. Pero hay otras cosas que nosotros no decimos. And, and the things that we don't like. Y las cosas que no nos gustan. Uh, and we don't want that person to do, we start talking about it before we get married. Y no queremos que esas, co esas cosas la otra persona haga, las empezamos a hablar antes de Casarnos. And what if you tell somebody, you know, the one thing that I really don't like is is, is someone. I don't, I, I want to be careful. I don't want to say nothing that that will fall in anybody directly in anybody's garden. Eh? Yo voy a ser muy cuidado si no quiero que caiga en el so jardín de let, nadie. Let's just leave it open, right? Vamos let, a dejarlo abierto. Open. That one thing you, you 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 don't like. Esa cosa que no te gusta. And the first thing you get married, and that's the first thing that person doing. Y te casas y es la primer, es lo primero que esa persona hace. And and it's causing problems in your marriage. Y está causando problemas en tu matrimonio. I, I don't like this, but you're doing it every day. No me gusta eso, pero lo estás haciendo todos los días. Every day you, you, you wake up in the morning and you're doing that same thing. Todos los días te levantas en la mañana y estás haciendo esto mismo. You are not, you are not um, feeding your relationship. No estás alimentando tu relación. Now, I want you to know something about your God. Quiero que sepas algo de tu Dios. With your God, it's not so much about likes and dislikes. Con tu Dios no se trata mucho lo que le gusta o no le gusta. God is not saying in the book of Proverbs, he's not telling you about six things that he He doesn't really like too much. Y Dios no nos está hablando en el libro de Proverbios de seis cosas que a él casi no le gustan, no. No, no, no. He's talking about six things that he hates. No, dice seis cosas que él aborrece. And uh, uh, if you add the seven eight, he said it's an abomination. Y si tú agregas las siete, es una abomin abominación. <laughs> do, do you think that we ought to pay attention to these things? ¿Tú crees que tenemos que poner atención a estas cosas? If we are in a relationship with God, wouldn't you like to know what those things are that God doesn't doesn't appreciate? Cuando, si tú estás en una relación con Dios, ¿no te gustaría saber esas cosas que Dios no aprecia? The things that he hates. Las cosas que él odia. And so these things must not be in our lives as, Entonces, as if we are in a relationship with God, estas right? Estas cosas no deben estar en nuestras vidas si estamos en una relación con Dios. And so let's look at these things a little bit. Vamos a mirar estas cosas. Because, because we spoke about how John the Baptist looked at the multitude and he was asking for a certain kind of fruit before he even come to God. Porque hablamos que Juan el Bautista vino a la multitud y les pidió un tipo de fruto. And so look at what it says here. Mira lo que dice. The first one. La primera. A proud look. Los ojos altivos. 
And, and it's talking about your eyes. Y está hablando de tus ojos. And, and another version says, haughty or arrogant eyes. En otra versión dice, ojos arrogantes. The, the, you, you look at people as less than yourself. Tú miras la gente como alguien menos que tú. And when people look at you, they see that you think you're higher than them. Y cuando la gente te mira, piensan que tú eres más grande que ellos. There is pride in your life. Hay orgullo en tu vida. If there is pride in your life, God says, you see that? I hate that. Y si hay orgullo en tu vida, Dios mira eso y dice, ¿sabes eso? No me gusta, lo odio. And, and the Bible is very clear about it. Y la Biblia es muy clara de esto. You need to eliminate that from your life. Tú tienes que eliminar esto de tu you vida. need to ask yourself, what will cause, why, why are my eyes arrogant? Y tú tienes que preguntar, ¿por qué mis ojos son arrogantes? You ever look at somebody and, and you just look at them and you say, but that person looks proud. <laughs> so, ¿Alguna vez has visto a alguien y al solo con mirarlo y esas personas orgullosa? They can associate with persons who they consider less than themselves. No se pueden asociar con personas que ellos consideran menos de sí mismos. A proud look. God is the first thing God says, I hate that. Una mirada orgullosa, lo primero que Dios dice, yo odio esto. And the second thing he says, a lying tongue. Y lo segundo que dice es la lengua mentirosa. <laughs> he, he says, you see that person who opened their mouth to speak lies? Esa persona que abre su boca para hablar mentiras. The things that come out of your mouth must always be the truth. Las cosas que salen de tu boca siempre tienen que ser la verdad. No, I have to tell you something. Hmm. It's, it's only when we find ourselves in trouble that, that sometimes we, 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 we resort to lying. Y solamente cuando nos encontramos en dificultades que muchas veces la, toma la decisión de mentir. And, and we, 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 we think that it's okay to tell a little lie. Y pensamos que está bien decir una mentirita pequeña. Or a little exaggeration. O una exageración. Well, you know, the, the, and the Lord spoke to me about that some years ago. Y Dios me habló de eso, habló a mi vida hace años atrás de eso. Yeah, I, the, the, you go to a service and, and, and everything was so powerful and you say the place was packed out. Y tú vas a un servicio y todo es tan poderoso y tú dices el lugar estaba llenísimo. And when you go back and you watch the video, the, the place was half empty. Y cuando miras el video, el lugar está en la mitad lleno. Are you speaking the truth? Estás hablando la oh, yeah, verdad. You are exaggerating. O estás exagerando. And, and, and speaking things that are not pleasing to God. Y estás hablando cosas que no son <laughs> agradables a Dios. God does not appreciate a lying tongue. Dios no aprecia una lengua. Look no le what, gusta una lengua mentirosa. Look at what it says. And hands that shed innocent blood. Y las manos derramadoras de sangre inocente. Well, you see, well, I, well, this is talking about, this is all that I leave now. I'm not talk, I'm no murderer. Entonces tú dirás ahorita, ah, no, yo no soy un asesino. But you read, the, in, you read the book of Matthew. Pero lee el libro de Mateo. From chapter five, you'd realize that Jesus, the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said that, that if you are, Angry with your brother without a cause. Y, y si tú lo lees desde el capítulo 5, y Jesús dice, si tú tienes ira contra tu hermano sin it, razón it's alguna. Equated to murder. Es igual que, que, que asesinato. You get, it, it's, it's the same thing. Es lo mismo. And so your hands need to be pure before the Lord. Entonces tus manos tienen que estar puras delante del Señor. Then look at what it says here. Y mira lo que dice. It says a heart that devises wicked imagination. El corazón que camina, eh, que maquina pensamientos inicuos. No, what is this talking about is the the the, the um, planning of your sins. Entonces esto lo que está hablando es el, cuando tú planeas pecar. You, you're not, you're not, it's not that you just didn't know. What you were no doing. era que tú no sabía lo que estabas haciendo. You, you actually sit down and you plan how you're gonna how you're gonna do this thing. No, tú te sientas y planeas cómo vas a hacer esto. You prepare everything. Tú preparas todo. You make sure that you cover all your bases so that you could watch pornography. 
tú te aseguras que cambias todo, eh, cubres todas las bases para poder mirar pornografía. It was something you, you plan. It didn't just es come algo on the que screen. tú planeas, no es algo que vino en la pantalla. You're devising wickedness. Tú estás planeando maldad. God says, you see that? I, don't, I hate that. Y Dios dice eso, yo odio eso. No, we serve a loving God, a God full of love. Servimos a un Dios amoroso, lleno de amor. But you have to understand that that in the midst of all of God's love. Pero tienes que entender que en medio del amor de Dios. There are some things that He hates. Hay cosas que él odia. And He's not saying He hates the people who do it. Él no está diciendo que él odia a la gente que lo he, hace. He loves his people. Él ama a su pueblo. But he hates these sins. Pero él odia estos pecados. These things. Estas cosas. No, why does it single out these sins and um, not speak about other things? Porque él se enfoca en estos pecados y no en otras cosas. Let's continue and, and we, we will just talk about it a little bit. Feet, verse 18, feet that are swift in running to mischief. Los pies pre, pre, eh, presurosos para correr al mal. And so nobody has to drag you into it. You are the instigator of, of, of mischief. Entonces nadie tiene que empujarte. Tú eres el que hace, eh, haces el mal. You, you run to it. You like it. Tú In corres words, hacia eso. Te gusta. You, 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 you hear about about something miss some mischief down the road you are the first one to reach tú co tú escuchas de hacer alguna cosa mala en el camino y tú corres hacia eso no i want you to take a look at the word the things that are being spoken here mira las palabras que están siendo habladas the first acá. thing it says is a proud look it's talking about your eyes entonces lo primero que está hablando es de el, los ojos un, los ojos orgullosos altivos a lion tongue it's talking about your mouth la la lengua mentirosa está hablando de tu boca Hands that shed innocent blood. It's talking about your hands. Ahora las manos que echan sangre inocente, derraman sangre inocente, perdón. A heart that is devising wickedness. Your Un corazón que, eh, que planea maldad, pensamientos inicuos. And your feet run into mischief. Y tus pies corriendo al mal. It means that this, there's something that has taken over your life. Significa que hay algo que está tomando control de tu vida. Your eyes, tus ojos, your mouth, tu boca, your heart, tu corazón, your hand, tus manos, your feet. tus pies. They are running to do things that they're not supposed to do. Están corriendo a hacer cosas que no deberían hacer. And so, and so, mm -hmm. there, there, there's, there's something that is happening on the inside of you. Entonces hay algo que está pasando dentro de ti. And then look at what it continues on to say. There are two more things here. Y hay dos cosas más que dice acá. Verse 19. Versículo 19. A false witness that speaks lies and he that sows discord among brethren. Dice, y el testigo falso que habla mentira. Y el número 7, el que siembra discordia entre los hermanos. Hallelujah. Hmm. Now, the sixth, the sixth thing is... The false witness that speaks lies. Entonces la cosa seis es el testigo falso que habla mentiras. So you realize that um, it's talking about lies twice. Entonces te das cuenta aquí que está hablando de mentiras dos veces. In that list, right? En esta lista. And the last thing, which is the number seven. Y la última cosa que es la número siete. Is the one who is so hmm. Discord among the brethren. El al que dice que siembra discordia eh, alrededor de sus hermanos. The one who is bringing division. Aquella que trae división. Amongst the amongst the God's people. Eh, en, en medio del pueblo de Dios, esa es la que abomina a Dios. Mm -hmm. mm. This is this is this is the number seven thing. Esa es la cosa número siete. But I want you to understand that he said. Six he hates, but seven hmm. is an abomination. Acuérdate lo que dijo. Seis, él aborrece, pero las siete, siete son abominaciones. And if you look, su alma. you look at the entire list here, y si tú miras toda la lista, you know he was talking about discord from the very beginning. Él está hablando de discordia desde el comienzo. He was talking about the divisions from the very beginning. Desde el, la división desde todo el comienzo. As a matter of fact, before he even started to speak this, Um, look at what verse. Let's go back up the verse um, 14. Pero antes de hablar de eso, mira lo que dice en el versículo 14. Mira, volvamos al versículo it 14. Says, it says, fraudness is in the heart. He devised mischief continually and he sows discord. 
Dice, per, perversidad hay en su corazón y anda pensando el mal en todo tiempo, siembra las discordias. And then it begins afterwards to, to speak about all these things. Y después empieza a hablar todas estas cosas. The one who sows discord. Aquel que siembra discordia. In other words, the discord is a result of all of these other things that are being Entonces, listed here. Entonces, la discordia es el resultado de todas estas cosas que están siendo eh, en una lista antes. Things that are not pleasing to God. Cosas que no eh, eh, satisfacen, no agradan el corazón de Dios. You and I, Dios. we can't, we can't have them in our hearts. Y tú y yo no las podemos tener en nuestros corazones. We can't corazones. have them in our hands. No las podemos tener en nuestras manos. In our feet. En nuestros pies. In our eyes. En nuestros ojos. In our boca. tongue. En nuestra boca. The things that we look at. Las cosas que miramos. The way we look at it. La forma que miramos. The things that we say. Las cosas que decimos. The things that we think and las feel. Las cosas que pensamos y decimos. It, it is important for you to know that you must bring to God the fruit of repentance. Entonces es muy importante que tú sepas que tú traes a Dios el fruto del arrepentimiento. What is in your heart? ¿Qué está en tu corazón? What needs to be adjusted in your heart? ¿Qué tiene que ponerse en orden en tu corazón? Para venir delante and de Dios. Bring your life before God. Y traer tu vida delante de Dios. And know that you are in a place where he can bring change to you. Y saber que estás en un lugar donde puede traer cambio a tu vida. In other words, you must never be a person who is delighting in your wickedness. Entonces tú nunca debes ser una persona que se deleita en tu maldad. And delighting in the fall of other people. Y deleitarse en la caída de otra I gente. I want you to know that's a dangerous place. Quiero que sepas que este es un lugar muy peligroso para nosotros you ever estar. You some people that wherever they go, they, they sow discord. Tú nunca has encontrado gente que donde sea que vayan siembran discordia. Everything that come out of their mouth is against somebody else. Todo lo que sale de su boca está siempre contra alguien. And, and what you're going to realize is that this is the root of, of, of so many sins. Y está la raíz de muchos pecados, te vas a dar cuenta de eso. And God tried to, re, to, to make a summary in a list of seven things. Y Dios trató de hacer un resumen de una lista de siete cosas. That you could look at and evaluate yourself. Que podamos mirar y evaluarnos a nosotros mismos. You realize that he's not talking about, about, about some other things that we think are big. Y te das cuenta que él no está hablando de otras cosas que parecen ser In grandes. In this list you realize he's not talking about witchcraft. En esta lista no está hablando de brujería. You realize he's not talking about idolatry. No está hablando de idolatría. He's not talking, even talking about adultery. No está hablando de adulterio. All of no. these things, these, these are big big stuff estas son cosas grandes but, but these seven things pero estas siete cosas we could we could call it it's a root it's a root of sin estas siete cosas son las raíces del pecado that does not allow people to repent que no permite que la gente se arrepienta and when you look at it y cuando tú lo miras we could bring a summary with one thing podemos hacer un resumen con una cosa and I'm going to tell you what it is y te voy a decir qué es is a religious spirit. Es un, un espíritu de religiosidad. A religious spirit. Un espíritu de religiosidad. That, you don't see that you're wrong. At no any miras time. que estás equivocado. You, you could almost see the scribes and the Pharisees in this. Puedes ver a los escribas y fariseos en esto. The ones who murdered Jesus. Aquellos que asesinaron a Jesús. The ones who 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 um be, bore false witness against him aquellos que trajeron falsos testigos en contra de él the ones who were so proud that they could not receive a word from him aquellos que eran tan orgullosos que ni siquiera pudieron recibir una palabra de él the ones who went and they took counsel and they devised the wickedness the mischief aquellos que fueron y tomaron consejo y desarrollaron maldad empezaron a planear maldad I want you to know religiosity is one of the worst places we could find ourselves La religiosidad es uno de los peores lugares que nos podemos encontrar. We could, we, we, when we are religious, we, our heart becomes hard to the things of God. Cuando somos religiosos, nuestros corazones se ponen duros hacia las cosas de Dios. We think we are right. Pensamos que todo está bien. But, but we don't really care about people. Pero no nos importa la gente. And it is important for, for, to God that you care about people. Y es importante para Dios que tú cuides de la gente. Let's go back to the, the gospel of John. Vamos al libro de Juan. And look at what it's look at what he con, it, after he after John gave them these harsh words. 
Y después de que Juan les da estas palabras fuertes. Verse 10, look like at what it says. And the people, que dice el versículo 10. The people ask and they say, well, what shall we do then? Entonces, si la gente le preguntaba diciendo, entonces, ¿qué haremos? No. You realize that the scripture never gives you only condemnation and tells you all that is wrong. Y te das cuenta que la escritura no nos dice todo lo que está mal y nos condena. It will always give you a solution to the Siempre problem. Siempre te va a dar una solución para el problema. So, so John is preaching repentance. Así que Juan está predicando repentance. But it seems like they're not even ready for repentance. Pero se ve como That's que no están listos para el arrepentimiento. And so, uh, um, John needs to get to the root. Así que Juan tiene que and ir so, a la raíz. And so the people, they say, well, all right. We are generation of vipers, you call us. Entonces, nos ha llamado generación de víboras. So, so what shall we do? Entonces, dinos qué debemos hacer. But we, I'm seeing all of, all of these things in my life, then what do I do? Veo todas estas cosas en mi vida, entonces dime qué debo hacer. And this is what he answered, this is what he said. Y mira lo que le dice. Verse 11. He Ven. answered and said unto them, he that had two coats, let him impart to him that had none and he that had meat let him do likewise y dice y respondiendo le dijo el que tiene dos tónicas de al que no tiene y el que tiene de co que comer haga lo mismo aleluya sometimes it's so amazing that the simple things we overlook a veces es tan maravilloso darse cuenta que pasamos desapercibidos las cosas importantes, pequeñas. And we realize that sin brings forth some fruit in our life. Nos damos cuenta que el pecado da un fruto en nuestra vida. But, but, but this is the type of fruit that God is looking for. Pero este es el tipo de fruto que Dios está buscando. No, no, there's also... Uh, um, a religiosity that makes people do good works as well. Pero también a religiosidad que hace la gente hacer obras buenas. But John is talking about real fruit. Pero Juan está hablando de verdadero fruto. A heart condition. El con la condición del corazón. And he says, so, so no, you, you have two coats, take one and bless somebody with it. Entonces tienes dos túnicas, toma una para ti y bendice a alguien con la otra. And if you have food, Give somebody some of your food. Y si tienes comida, dale a alguien de tu comida. He's, he's dealing with the heart, you know. Él está tratando con el corazón. Because, because nobody will see that. Porque nadie más va a ver eso. Uh, 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 this is this has to be a lifestyle, no. Eso tiene que ser un estilo de vida. No, you're not talking about um you 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 just um giving an offering so that everybody could see. Entonces eso no está hablando de dar una ofrenda para que todo el mundo vea. And no. so you, you bless somebody. I, I see some, there are some, some persons on, on, on um, YouTube. Yo veo gente que en YouTube. <laughs> they, they go and they bless people on the street. They Ellos go and give money to people on the street. dinero a la gente en las calles. But they take a, they take a video of it. Pero hacen un video de esto. And, and they, they, they have the video showing when they, everything they give and what they do. Y tienen el video mostrando todo lo que dan y hacen. And then post that up. Y luego lo ponen ahí en YouTube. For the world to see. Para que el mundo lo vea. For, who, for, for whom are we doing this? Para quién estamos haciendo Is esto? Is it unto the Lord? Es para el Señor. Your heart. No. We're dealing corazón. with the heart. Estamos tratando con el corazón. If your heart is right with God, si tu corazón está correcto you will con Dios, begin to do the things that God does. Vas a hacer las cosas que Dios hace. And so he goes on, he said he came to the publicans, and then came also the publicans, verse 12, to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? Entonces dice versículo 12, y vinieron a los publicanos para ser bautizados y le dijeron, maestro, ¿qué haremos? And he said unto them, exact no more than that which is appointed you. Y él les dijo, no exijáis más de lo que es ordenado. And then the soldiers came and said, what shall we do? Entonces ahora vinieron los soldados y le dijeron, ¿qué haremos? So people are coming from different walks of life here. Entonces personas por diferentes áreas de la vida están viniendo a él. And they are getting a very similar answer. Y están recibiendo una respuesta muy similar. That applies to their situation. Que aplica a su situación y a su vida. Uh, no, he is not telling them to, to go and, uh, uh, and preach or to go and... Uh, 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 and use their spiritual gifts. Él no les está diciendo que vayan y usen eh, sus eh, dones espirituales, no. He says to the soldiers, do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. 
Y le dijo, no hagáis extorsión a nadie, ni calumnies, ni contentados por con, y contentados con vuestro salario. You all that? Be content with your wages. Escucharon eso, estar contentos con vuestro salario. Anybody are happy with your salary? Alguien está feliz acá con su salario? <laughs> I wish all of you all had on your cameras so that I could see your faces. Me gustaría que tuvieran las cámaras para ver sus caras. Are you happy with your wages? Estás contento con tu salario? Or you are you complaining about the company that you're working for? O te estás quejando de la compañía que trabajas? No, he didn't. No, listen. I want you to know that that these people they were living in the time of the Roman Empire. Quiero que entiendas que esta gente estaba viviendo en el tiempo del Imperio Romano. And so there was a lot of injustice. Entonces había mucha injusticia. So he's telling the soldier, you be content with your wages. Entonces le dice a los soldados, estás tienes que estar contento con tu salario. Your heart. Tu corazón. Right. Tu corazón va a estar para estar para estar correcto. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Bendito the Lord. Bendito sea el nombre. And so this was this was the instructions to from from John to the multitude. Entonces a la instrucción de Juan a la multitud. In response to their questions, what should we do? En respuesta a las preguntas que le hicieron, ¿qué haremos? What are the fruits of repentance that we must bring? ¿Cuáles son los frutos de arrepentimientos que tenemos que traer? He, said, this, he didn't give them, give them any high spiritual theology. En no les dio una teología grande, alta. No, it was the practical day to day. No things. era el día a día práctico. What do you do today on your workplace? ¿Qué haces tú hoy en tu trabajo? You see, but the, my my uh, and my job, they did they they. they mistreated me bueno en mi trabajo me maltrataron i am i have this high level of education and they pay me next to nothing yo tengo este nivel alto de educación y no me están pagando nada i want you to know that god is the god who fights against injustice yo quiero que sepas que dios es el dios que va en contra de la injusticia you be faithful to god sé fiel a dios be content estar contento because you could have been without a job porque podías estar sin un trabajo. And allow God to fight for you. Y permite que Dios pelee por ti. Do the same thing, uh, um, sharing, sharing your, your food, your a meal with somebody. Haz lo mismo, comparte tu comida con alguien. You see what the price of food going up. El precio de la comida va subiendo. And if I share that, I will gonna have food for tomorrow. Y no va a tener comida that, para mañana. And so you prefer to leave that brother hungry. Entonces dejas a ese hermano hambriento. This is a hard, this is a hard condition. Esta es la condición del corazón. That we need to check our hearts. Tenemos que evaluar nuestro corazón. Let's look at 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 at, at the Matthew. Let's go back to the Gospel of Matthew. Vamos a volver al libro de Mateo. And we could read from. Um, let's take it from chapter five. Vamos a Mateo capítulo cinco. Hallelujah. Jesus, he begins to preach. <laughs> he begins to preach to the multitudes as well. Entonces Jesús le está predicando a la multitud también. And he begins to speak, and this is what it, this. These are the types of things he says. Y mientras son hablar a que aquí y, Verse, y mira los tipos de cosas que es que que están. Está diciendo Jesús es Jeremías está diciendo que ese es su verso de la Biblia que ya sabe de memoria. That, that's the, yes, very good, very good. You want to read it? Come, come and say it. Come, come, come and read it. Jeremías had as his Bible verse that he was learning, so he wants to read. Dilo de memoria. Now it may not be the same one that I was going to read, eh? but let him read. Go ahead. Dilo, dilo. Si te lo sabes, dilo. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, just part of it. Just, just, just like the first three. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Go ahead, read a little more. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain a mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which 
are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen, amen, amen. Voy a leerlo en español. Bienaventurados los pobres de espíritu, porque en ellos está el reino de los, de los cielos. Bienaventurados los que lloran, porque ellos recibirán consolación. Bienaventurados los mansos, porque ellos recibirán la tierra por heredad. Bienaventurados los que tienen hambre y sed de justicia, porque ellos serán saciados. Bienaventurados los misericordiosos, porque ellos alcanzarán misericordia. Bienaventurados los limpios de corazón, porque ellos verán a Dios. Bienaventurados los pacificadores, porque ellos serán llamados hijos de Dios. Amen. Now this was the introduction to Jesus' sermon. Esta es well. la introducción al sermón de And Jesús. And let's read a little lower down. Y vamos a leer más um, abajo. It says from verse 40, And if any man will sue you at the law and take away your coat, let him have your cloak also. Y vosotros sois la luz del mundo. Ay, perdón. Verso qué? 40. 40. Perdón, estaba leyendo el pasaje. Dame un segundo. Dice, y al que quiera ponerte en pleito, quita la túnica y déjale también la capa. Now we're talking about clothes again. Some of you like, you, you all don't like to give away your clothes at all. Hay gente que no le gusta regalar su ropa. You hold on to that thing in your cupboard, it can't even fit you again. It, estás guardando esa ropa en tu closet que ni siquiera te queda. You, all you're saying is that you're going on a diet so you can fit into that pants. Y siempre estás diciendo que vas a ir a una dieta para que puedas pues te queden esos pantalones. Give the thing away. Regala la ropa. If you give away some food as well, you might be able to fit in that pants. Si regalas comida también puede ser que te queden los pantalones. Nice <laughs> just by the side. Yeah? Eso es para I just, un lado. I'm just joking. Estoy jugando. I'm not talking about anybody who 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 can fit in the pants. Eh? Yo no estoy hablando de nadie que no cabe, no le caben los pantalones. <laughs> Verse 41, whosoever will compel you to go a mile, go with him too. Y cualquiera que te obligare a llegar, llevar carga por una milla, ve con el dos. Give to him that ask it, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Y al que te pida, dale, y al que quiera tomar de ti prestado, no se lo rehuses. You have heard of that it was, have been said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, and do good to them which hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Now, for, for many persons, these are hard instructions. Eh? We would have preferred God would have told us go on a mission trip and come back. Or if, if God would have told us um just um you prefer God would have told you just go and and, and pre teach us on the school. Or Dios nos hubiera dicho vaya enseñe es 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 escuela dominical. Or, or something else, or, or give a yes, give a, an offering. Or, That would have been easier. Es hubiera sido más fácil que nos diga una ofrenda. But I have to love my enemies. Pero tengo que amar a mis enemigos. I have to bless them that despitefully use me. Que me usan, Give away trajan. things to people, bless people. Entregar cosas y bendecir gente. You realize it has so much to do with people, right? Y te das cuenta que tiene mucho que ver con gente. <laughs> let, let, let's, let, let's finish it. Verse no. 45. Mira lo que dice el versículo 45. Why do you have to do these things? ¿Por qué tenemos que hacer estas It cosas? Says, that you may be the children of your father which is in heaven. Para que seáis hijos de vuestro padre que está en el cielo. For he makes his son to rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. Que hace salir su sol sobre los malos y buenos y hace llover sobre los justos e injustos. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same? Porque si amáis a los que os ama, aman, ¿qué recompensa tendréis? Lo hacen también lo, lo mismo los publicanos. And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Y si saludáis a vuestros hermanos solamente, ¿qué hacéis de más? ¿No hacen también así los gentiles? Be therefore perfect 
as your Father mm. which is in heaven is perfect. Sed pues vosotros perfectos como vuestro Padre que está en los cielos es perfecto. Aleluya. God is talking about our daily conduct here. Dios nos está hablando de nuestra conducta diaria. He talks about, uh, we started off, we talked about the things that God hates. Primero comenzamos hablando de las cosas que Dios odia, but, aborrece. Uh, but you are, you, are, you are seeing here the things that pleases God. Y acá vemos las cosas que agradan a Dios. And they are all connected to our heart condition. Y siempre están conectadas a la condición de nuestro corazón. And they always have to do with the way we relate to people. Y siempre tiene que ver con la forma que tratamos a la gente. You never, you, you never ask yourself why God give you these things obnoxious difficult people to deal with in your life Nunca te has preguntado por qué Dios te ha dado esta gente tan difícil para tratar para estar alrededor de tu vida Why why God couldn't just give you some angels around you to be to, to be a family and your friends and your cool cousins Porque Dios no nos dio unos ángeles alrededor de nosotros para hacer nuestra familia, nuestros ministerio y trabajo y compañeros de trabajo People who don't get vex and people who don't offend Gente que no se pone bravo y no ofende. We, we, before we got married, we thought that woman, that wife, that we were going to marry, we thought she was an angel. Y antes de casarnos pensamos que esa mujer iba a ser un ángel. You thought that man was a prince. Y pensaste que ese hombre era un príncipe. And that he did no wrong at all. Y que él no hacía nada mal. But you realize that, that, that your prince... Let me do say what I was going to say. Your prince is not, was not, wasn't really a prince. Pero te das cuenta que tu príncipe no es un príncipe. And you have to deal with that. Y tienes que tratar con God eso. God gives us people around us. Dios nos da gente alrededor. That they test our, our, our patience. Que prueban nuestra paciencia. And they test what God has placed in us. Y prueban lo que Dios ha puesto en nosotros. And, and, and he tells you the things that he likes and what he doesn't like. Y te dice las cosas que a él le gusta y que no le gusta. So even though all of these things are true, the, the, these are the people giving you trouble. Y aun cuando todas estas cosas son verdad, la gente dándote problemas. Says no, if you if you if you mistreat them, you are going to be just like the sinners. Entonces si tú los maltratas serás como los pecadores. You are going to be just like everybody else. Vas a ser como el resto. But God, God, Jesus is saying, I want to teach you how you can be like your father. Pero Jesús está diciendo, quiero enseñarte cómo ser como tu padre. Why? Because your father is, he's perfect. ¿Por qué? Porque tu padre es perfecto. And he's looking at the world, he's seeing the just, the unjust. Porque él está mirando al mundo y está viendo al justo y al injusto. And he sends the same rain upon everybody. Y él envía la misma lluvia sobre todos. When he mm. came to die on the cross, he came to die for everybody. Y cuando él vino a morir en la cruz, él vino a morir por todos. That's your father. Este es tu padre. And, and that's who he wants you. He wants you to be. Y esto es como él quiere que tú he, seas. He wants you to be someone whose heart is pure. Él quiere que tú seas alguien que su corazón es puro. And who wants to do that which is right. Y hacer aquello que es correcto. He wants you to be compassionate. Él quiere que seas compasivo. He says little lower in the scripture, be merciful. Ser misericordioso. As your father is merciful. Así como tu padre es misericordioso. Give mercy to people. Da misericordia a la gente. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Dale el beneficio de la duda. Uh, allow them to make mistakes and don't judge them. Permite que ellos cometan errores y no los juzguen. Lead them, guide them. Guíalos. Teach them. Enséñales. With your lifestyle. Enséñales con tu vida. Teach them. Enséñales. And I tell you something. Y te voy a decir algo. You will be like your father which is in heaven. Tú vas a ser como tu padre que está en el cielo. And so you know the things that God that doesn't please God. Entonces tú sabes las cosas que no agradan a Dios. And you know the things that please him. Y tú sabes las cosas que It's been agradan. made I believe it's been made clear to us. Sé que en ese es Dios no lo ha hecho claro a nosotros hoy. Do you think this is important for your relationship with him? ¿Crees que esto es importante para tu relación con él? Listen, I tell you something. Natalia, she she followed the scripture when she gave away my cloak, my jacket. Natalia siguió la escritura cuando regaló mi chaqueta. She didn't give away her own jacket. She said the scripture says if you have a, if you have two jackets, give away one. Natalia siguió esa escritura. <laughs> si tiene dos chaquetas, regala una. She started giving away all my clothes. Ya empezó a regalar toda mi ropa. Oh my God. 
You can't have things in your life that are not pleasing to God. Tú no puedes tener cosas en tu vida que no agradan a Dios. You can't have stuff in your life that that they don't align with God's culture. Tú no puedes tener cosas en tu vida que no se alinean a la cultura de Dios. Check out your eyes. Examina tus ojos. Check out your tongue. Examina tu boca. Check out your hands, your feet. Tus manos, tus pies, tu corazón. And make sure that it's lining up with him. Y asegúrate que esté alineado con él. Hallelujah. Make sure. Asegúrate. You're not a, you're not a, a strife setter. Que no eres aquel que arma, arma discordia. Discordia. You're a person of peace. Eres una persona Jesus de paz. Jesus said, as Jeremiah read, blessed are the peacemakers. Y Jesús dijo como Jeremías le dijo, bendito sea los los pacificadores. So he said, discord I hate. Dice discordia yo odio eso. But blessed are the peacemakers. Pero bendito bienaventurados los pacificadores. You know what he likes. Entonces tú ya sabes lo que él le gusta. You know what he hates. Tú sabes lo que él odia. So be like your father in heaven. Entonces sé como tu padre en el cielo. Don't hold on to those things. No te aferres a estas cosas. Love your neighbor. Ama a tu vecino. Hallelujah. This is the foundation of Christianity, my beloved. Esta es la cimenta, este es el cimiento del cristianismo. Your foundation is not for you to, to go and preach. No es para ir y predicar. That will come after. Esto viene después. Your foundation is to do the will of your Father. Tu cimiento es para hacer la voluntad to del Padre. To be like Him. Para ser como él. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sang this song on Sunday. I want to sing it again. Cantamos esta canción el domingo. Quiero cantarla. For those of you, I pray that you were able to connect to the service. Para aquellos que oro que han podido conectarse al servicio. Hallelujah. Yo quiero ser más Más que un siervo ordinario Yo quiero ser más It's about doing the simple thing. Se trata de hacer lo simple. The things that he asks of us. Las cosas que él nos pide. Get your heart right before God. Tener tu corazón bien delante de Dios. Remove the things that are abominations there. Remove las cosas que son abominación para él. Remove the pride from your life. Quita el orgullo de tu vida. The lie. La mentira. Remove. Remueve. Delighted in mischief. En la el deleitarse en el en en la maldad, la envidia. And be filled with compassion and mercy. Se lleno de compasión y misericordia. Like your heavenly Father. Como tu padre que está en el cielo. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise is wonderful Alabanza name today. Hallelujah. We we'll give God praise and thanks for Le another Dios wonderful day. Y por otro día In His presence. En su presencia. Amen. I pray that you are blessed today. Mi oración es que estés bendecido. As I was blessed by His word. Y como yo fui bendecido por su palabra. Amen. And I thank God for all of you connected with us. Y le damos gracias a Dios por todos ustedes que están conectados.